I'm glad they kind of went more into it like, as well and sh- showed just how how the how of an outsider she felt. Because mm-hmm. at first when she's like, oh, I couldn't use telepathy. I'm thinking, who the fuck cares? You could speak. And, but then you find out like nobody in their village yeah, speaks. Everyone's everybody's, mute. Just, everybody's <laughs> telepathy. So yeah. I thought like, okay, well, never mind. I was wrong. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Isekai Podcast. This is the weekly review of Mushoku Tensei. We're on episode 7. I'm your host, David, and joining today, we have Stren. Hello! And we have Ku. Yo, yo! Uh, quick reminder, too, uh, I remember this at the beginning, we already do have a Discord, so we want to follow our discussions, like, when the episode airs or uh, animes are watching this season. Uh, check out the description, we ha- join Discord, and, and also, shout out to all the comments, too. Shout out to Stren for reading those comments and replying, because he's the one doing most of it. Hey. Uh, I'm an active all, guy. So, always appreciate the conversations we're having, so keep it up, guys. Uh, moving on to this week's episode. Someone in our Discord mentioned this. God, I haven't read it yet. Someone said, like, like uh, another reunion episode this week. So, shout out to them. That's basically what it is, yeah. Last week we had Paul and Rudy, and now this week we have Roxy and her parents. So, Dude, um, okay, comment on her parents. <laughs> like, I forgot who they were, uh, you know, like, when we, we, we saw them the first time. And like her parents look exactly the same age as her. Like this, like her mom looks exactly like her. Her dad looks like it should be a younger brother. And that kind of just threw me off for a second until she's like, "Oh, you know, th- like you know, thanks, mom and dad." I was like, "Okay, got it." Yeah, I felt the same too. So, yeah, yeah. I yeah, guess but... in terms of aging, you got to pretend they're elves. I guess like they just mature or they they just I mean, live a lot longer than humans do. So I mean, they're, they're they demons. Don't have those ears. They're demons, but yeah. it's like the same same concept. Like you know, thousand year old people so please visit every once every 20 years <laughs> see she's like she's like well 100 something or i thought she was like know. 40 something wasn't she oh okay i don't remember i mean we can do a quick google search but you guys can keep talking but while like, i do that but mm-hmm. yeah i mean to course, mention a lot of the things before that happened i mean we had rudy in the party um on a they're, boat again they're on the boat and rudy's seasick this Growing time up. too so yeah Dude, storms, man. That's that's what's gonna happen. Rujita just being a beast. Oh, and they had that, that random like montage too of like people wanting to challenge Rujita, and then like he, him just kicking their ass, and then Rudy just Dude. giving them the statues too. So, yeah, passing it on. <laughs> Tell the other people what you just uh, saw. It started like was it started with the one guy who like he like he introduced himself. So I was like, oh, okay, is this someone who's gonna be like important later? But then it was like a whole bunch of other different people. It's like, okay, maybe yeah. you're not gonna be important. <laughs> Yeah, that first guy they showed actually, like, this his looks. I thought, like, damn, this guy actually looks unique. Is he gonna matter? Absolutely not. I and then I everybody else after that was very basic. Yeah, I thought. I mean, I thought he was, but then after that, it felt like he wasn't. But we're starting. Yeah. We're starting to see, you know, just you know, planting the seeds of just Rudy slowly, like trying to change the reputation. Like, because I'm assuming, like, you know, we're, he's doing all this while he's still young. I assume, like, eventually we get to the point where he's an adult, and then like, and then people who get the like the statues remember remember dead end so i assume that's that's where it's got pay off and then we hit well, then we cut to to roxy and then really focus on her her party and before too um before she met up her parents she met up with that horse guy and like i i had such a hard time remembering him like from earlier because i knew i knew there was a horse guy from the season earlier but i, I like i had so much trouble remembering like, exactly like what he was doing and what his deal was and so i knew who he was forgot it completely forgot his name though I think it was like Neko Power or something like that. Something really weird. Yes. Didn't fit for a horse. <laughs> That's all I know. I mean, it's a talking horse. I mean, what are you, you going to do? It's yeah. a demon continent, you know? Oh, cool. Question for you. Uh, so th- they're saying like, you know, two years ago. So did we get like a, another little time skip then? Because it, it was a year and a half before, wasn't it? And then now it's up to two years. Uh, since Rudy's met uh, her parents? Yes. Okay. Because I, I couldn't remember like where that like kind of where that was in the timeline. Mm-hmm. I mean, they could. I mean, because it's it's Roxy's perspective, so they could be jumping a little, a he- little ahead, like. Yeah, and then you guys have to remember that she's basically traveling by foot or by by uh, the some kind of animal, the mount, right? The mount, yeah. yeah, a mount. So, so it if you yes. if you really think about it, it, it does take time to travel from place to place, and it's been a uh, a year and a half since Rudian has been teleported. So two years seems about right here. And then, uh, just to answer the question about Roxy's age, when she was first introduced in the series, I think she was. It does confirm she's like forty something. So okay, 
Uh, as of right now, right. I'd want to say she's probably like either mid to late forties, right? Oh, because shoot! Like when you she first got introduced. When she yeah. first got introduced. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So in terms of uh, human year, she's uh, she's I guess like a young adult, I guess at this time, late yeah. teenager. So I mean, I thought I thought Rudy said like she like looked like like you know a middle school kid. So well, she is a little sure. short, lonely yeah, girl, anime so, man. Yeah. yeah. Anime looks like never matched the age, sir. I don't know, but yeah. So it's been two years, and so we had, you know, we had her catching up with the the horse guy, and then like, and then him. It's kind of weird how like he kind of lectured her about like the family and stuff, yeah. and like this guy, mm-hmm. like you know, just, this is the last time we saw him. He was like he kind of screwed over like Rudy and his party. Dude, so. He leveled out so much though. <laughs> he just became just like he's just like a level headed guy now. Well, it's, 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 it's like he said, you know, like he will do whatever it takes to provide for his family, right? So uh, apparently that's just how he was. He would just kind of take advantage of weaker adventurers. And according to him, he was just setting them straight for the real world. And then I, I don't know if he got married after or before he met Rudy and them. But uh, yeah, after that, uh, that meetup with uh, Rudyard, you know, it, it scared him straight. So he became more of a level-headed, nice guy, I guess. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. When you when you first meet the guy and he turns out that he was part of like Rossi's old party, like to me I was kind of like mind blowing, you know, like I guess this guy wasn't as much of a dick as we thought he was, but I think I, I mean, I don't know. it's like you said, Ku, it's like he just it's not that he's like bad, it's just like he was just more selfish, I guess, like just like mm-hmm. like He got threatened pretty hard. That would that would yeah. that'd make you change. Yeah, well, you're about to die, right? Meaning, yep. Yep. uh, spirit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, spirit. Yeah, you. You're like, no, nah, I'm good, man. I'm not. I'm not gangster anymore. You know, everyone's yeah. gangster until someone puts a spear in your face. Well, I mean, just I mean, look how like uh, petrified rocks it gets <laughs> just from being just the, like the mention of spirit. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I'm mean, assuming like a lot of people like whoever knew of them, heard the stories of them, grew up with them, like know knows all that stuff, and it seems like, uh, you know, just uh, avoid them. Yeah, I mean, at, at this point, it kind of hints towards, like, Roxy having more of a a more serious encounter with a spirit, right? That's why she's so deathly scared of them. Hmm. Really? Uh, I, but... I just I just thought it was because she, like, she really believed the stories. Like, like, like it's just one of the things that, like, she didn't question or anything. Just, she just believed, like, the, the horrible yeah. stories about the, the spirits. Well, so. You have to really think about how she reacts uh, compared to others, right? Like, the demon continent, everyone ran away for sure, but they didn't faint. Like even in the uh, in the village, when she went back to the village and she talked to her parents, uh, like they aren't really terrified of Rujard either. You know, they yeah. they're they're like cautious of the guy, but they weren't like definitely afraid of him. Right. So it's kind of okay. like what really happened, right? Why is she so scared of them? I wasn't so. thinking about that. So that like that would have never occurred to me unless you brought up Coop. So yeah, just a little tidbits, I and then like I yeah. And then, like, when she made it back to the village, and then there was that little, like, that little tidbit they did where, you know, apparently, like, Roxy's clan is full of, like, people who can use, uh, like, telepathy. Right? I don't know if you guys remember that. Yep, cool. Right. I had a question I, I, for you I, about that. Yeah. Oh, um, so, about that, uh, do they explain, like, why she doesn't know? Because uh, in the anime, kind of alluded, or it kind of showed, like, she, their, her parents were teaching her how to speak more so than telepathy so was it just right. something that they didn't do when she was young or was it just something that she couldn't do do, do we get uh, an explanation or i'm gonna be that... honest with you as far as i remember there wasn't really an explanation just the fact that she would she never could and then she was kind of ostracized from the uh from the village because of that and that's why okay. she ran away great but right? they just but they don't go into detail as to like why she wasn't able to pick it up as, as far as i remember no but okay. then again maybe i might have overlooked that tidbit but okay. uh no they, I, I, I don't recall them ever explaining it. Okay. I don't, I don't, even, uh, I don't even remember the, <laughs> I don't even remember the telepathy part. So like, oh, I yeah. didn't either. Yeah, it's something that you either like remember from season so one, two, I, I, I guess. Couldn't, I couldn't tell if it was like the first time I was in shoes or not. But I mean, they did a good job of like of mm-hmm. explaining like, you know, the hardships that Roxy went through and yeah, stuff. I mean, yeah, and 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 I thought that the way that they introduced it too, like it was like white specks just constantly knocking at her or something. Yeah, dude, like that, was... that that must have been super annoying. But Hell it just yeah. shows like how Damn. how much it like affected her, right? Not being able to communicate with them, and whenever they would look at her, she would just get these like white flashes or knocks happening. 
yeah. apparently. So, like, I thought that was a really nice touch to demonstrate how serious that that issue was, where she yeah. didn't have that ability. So. Yeah, well, well, I'm I'm glad they kind of went more into it, like as well, and showed just how how of an outsider she felt. Because mm-hmm. at first, when she's like, "Oh, I couldn't use telepathy," I'm thinking, "Who the fuck cares? You could speak." And but then you find out like nobody in their village yeah, speaks. Everyone's everybody's, mute. Just, everybody's <laughs> telepathy. So yeah. I thought, like, okay, well, never mind. I was wrong. Right. I mean, so, yeah, it's because like because you think about the village too. It's like it's you know it's in the desert. You you assume it's like kind of isolated. Like he probably far away from like the town that like <laughs> that she was with with the horse guy. So it's like mm-hmm. it's like this is the mm-hmm. only thing you get. Like I mean, if you don't. So and then like and a lot you know a lot of villagers and like in rural life you know they don't they're used to staying in one place for a long time so a lot of people probably don't feel like you know they're just comfortable just living in the village too a lot of them probably don't venture out too much so that's kind of like how what I was feeling from the village yep yep although kind of uh... it I mean it is it is kind of like a thing in like. In, in fantasy adventures, like where, of course, like the the outcast of the village wants to leave, and then that's really, that's like that's how what the character is. So, but mm-hmm. I still enjoyed, like, still enjoy you know Roxy, and then especially like her reunion for parents was really powerful. I I because I, I didn't realize that like that she basically ran away without saying anything. Like it wasn't like it wasn't like um like. Like just how um she didn't she didn't like just like say like she just wanted to go on an adventure or whatever one or tell her parents her plan or anything she just stripped just left it's like oh damn that's that's yeah, how like that's how serious you know? that's like how serious like she felt about this whole thing like she didn't and yeah it, it, it makes you it, it makes you kind of appreciate her character right because like you said it was not like she was like Rudy right where she was a a natural born genius and then. Uh, she she got assistance from her parents to develop her skills, and then like because she was so good, she got appointed as tutors throughout the land. Like it, it wasn't that; it was the fact that you know she she ran away from the village because she didn't feel like she belonged there. Uh, she was trying so hard to be seen as a grown up, and she tried her best to become this like great adventurer, someone that people took seriously or someone that they took as very mature. And then after meeting Rudy, you know she got humbled a little bit. You know, thinking that she still has a long way to go, and then she just kept like progressing her skills and her, uh, like developed her like her personality as as an adult, right? Like she's more mature mm-hmm. now, as as Nekopara pointed out in the in the bar when they were talking. So, yeah. it, it, like to me, it makes me really appreciate Roxy as a character, and like, like honestly, Roxy is definitely one of my favorite like waifu characters that i have read about or seen in a long time right not just design but personality the backstory you know you know stuff like that like i, I really mean, think she's a really good character she kind of she kind of reminds me of like of like yuki nakato from um um haruhi zuzumiya because like because she's like because they're both like the quiet girls they don't really say much of them once you know into the back the backstory is more like they're like for me they just become like the best character like like basically best girl in the series so yeah. right now like i really like roxy so for me i'm I'm always enjoying the backstories of uh, all the main characters especially for how much we ended up liking roxy from the first season i'll take it yeah and then if you guys really think about it you know roxy kind of got like her mother's blessing for bringing rudy back rudy. and you know yeah. hopefully oh, yeah. I mean, as, a, I assume, as a groom you know <laughs> i still assume like it's gonna be a harm a harm like like waiting for Rudy with like our Roxy and um, Eris and Sylphie, like mm. like all. I think the show is too good to to have all of them. I mean, there could always be like a harem, maybe. But mm. I, I feel like there's there'll be there could like, only be one. Like, cause the show like it does a good job of like world building, but like other stuff, like it kind of still follows like the isekai tropes. So I think that's just the one. Where, like I I just feel like it's too much of a setup to not have. I'd be surprised if they don't do it. Like, like if he actually picks one, like I'd be happy. But I think he's like they're gonna do like a harm ending. So. Sir, this is the original isekai, so it it uh yeah it, they took they took those, they took kids from this show, okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, So like yeah. a lot, they a lot started of, well, okay. they started it. To be fair, like a lot of isekais don't end, so I don't know how like how if they actually have harm endings, but like we get we'll an ending for this one. We will see. Well, I'm, pretty sure, like... I'm pretty sure this series has ended already. It, oh, yeah. it, it yeah. has. So, the original yeah. source has ended, sadly. 
Um, so. Rip. Yeah. But from um, what I remember, there is a lot of content for it to cover. So, yeah. oh, I forgot the animated at all would be great. I forgot the bit, the bit of uh, the bit of news. They're uh, releasing an un, uh, oh, uh, unaired OVA. episode. The yep. OVA. They're, they are getting an OVA. I don't know. I just don't know what though, or if it's going to be canon, or if it's yeah. going to be just like well, a, kind of a fun filler thing. We'll worry about it mm. when it comes out. But yeah, damn it, I knew there was something I forgot. <laughs> well, it, it's possible it could be canon because, like I mentioned before, the original source had like backstories like chapter 11.5 or 12.5 yeah. or whatever yeah. so maybe maybe it's something like that you know well i remember the like, comments too they were talking like the there's uh, other viewers from previous episodes they were talking about the how they could see some of these things being adapted to an ova mm-hmm. and you know this is their first one so maybe they'll you know just keep them coming that would be really nice if they just did it like every every blu-ray release or every other blu-ray release you know something but i think that would be uh probably end up being a little too much but i mean anyway I mean, technically, because they had eleven episodes last season, so the so OVA. <laughs> so like, so yeah, you so you have to have twelve this season, and then like you have like one, it'd be even twenty four, so you don't have the weird like twenty three episode count that we would have ended. But we'll see. Yeah, I would do it just because it's weird and just <laughs> just to trigger people with OCD, oh, God. like myself. <clears throat> okay, sir. Um, I, I just like I just want to say a uh, shout out to the parents because I feel feel very bad for them that like they they did like the best they could to raise their daughter and I guess like they probably they you know they didn't know like the struggles she was going with and they they really did miss her when she was gone and like you know it's hard to communicate in this world so it's hard to communicate in, like everything apparently they just uh you know they could have just said how Roxy wasn't able to unless they already understood that she didn't no. They 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 still don't know if she she doesn't understand telepathy. Does, does uh, do they? Do they? I don't, they. Well, I don't think so. Because remember, she was sitting in the back, and then her parents were doing telepathy, and then no, she's her, like, you know what? Her, her Never mind. I'm gonna leave. Her parents know that she cause, can't. Because like in the oh, in, why in the, the hell would you it, use it in front of her? In the in the flashback, she I mean, was, she was it, crying it's, so it's much. It's like just yeah, it was just it's natural, you know. Like, I mean, what are you gonna do? I like, mean, you thought she was still asleep? Gotta be better. Gotta be I better. It's it's like it's like it's like speaking like. Like another language, you speak it to your 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 spouse because it's natural, and your kid doesn't understand it. Or like, so. or like, uh, just think about it, right? Like, say your 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 bilingual English is in your first language, and your parents are accustomed to speaking your native tongue, and then they thought you were asleep. So why would they speak their secondary language, right? But I think so, I, I, I think Shren was. <laughs> but she's much, asleep, sir. No, I think Shren was watching <sighs> the, the part where, when she first came in. Like, like uh-huh. they greeted her, and then like. She was gonna day. leave, yeah. and then like, and then they were they were you know making their food or whatever, and then they were communicating telepathy with them, and then that and then she she felt left out even at that point, and she was about to leave. I think that's what that's what yeah. Strand was mentioning. Uh, yeah. I, again, I think that's more just natural reflex. I guess I don't. I don't uh, I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm Yuku. I think it's more natural reflexes. So yeah, and that's when the, the line dropped when they're like, oh, you know, I'll you know come visit like once in the next twenty years, and she's like, ah, eh, once in the next fifty. Yeah, or some shit okay. like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But but no, like like you know, you have to understand, right? Like her parents are very caring, and they don't know how to deal with this problem, so they did their best, right? They taught her how to speak and read whatever language I think the demon language, I guess. But yeah. uh, they 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 tried. But when you're the only kid in the village that can't use telepathy, and no one else has come across this issue before, it's it's kind of hard to find a nice way to solve the issue. So right. I mean, and. Yeah, and it's like, like it sucks for the parents because like they really want, you know, they want, they want to be with their 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 child, but like, but she's pretty, she's basically happier outside the village, so mm-hmm. like, that's that's the thing too. It's like yeah, you just gotta let her be because like she's not happy here. So, but uh, anyways, so yeah, if, like long story short, this is basically just Roxy's backstory, and due to this encounter, we learned that Roxy now knows that Rudy is indeed part of dead end right like rooted him's okay uh yeah. they're going back to their hometown so instead of like chasing after rudy she's going to continue for a mission of finding the lost people from uh Fenoa or fitoa village i forgot how to pronounce the, the name and then uh in the very beginning you notice that you know rudy and them are basically almost back home to the main island uh after this boat ride that's pretty much it so the journey is coming to a very um very close ending here very very um, fitting seeing how we're almost at the end of the season so 
Right, right. So I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure we're getting to the point where I think it's going to end where I think it is. So, you know, hopefully you guys aren't disappointing with the way they they choose to end it, but I I, I guess we'll see. I think we'll be fine. Last part. It's hard to call them as two seasons. I I see this all as one big season. I feel like they really Mm -hmm. want... I just feel like a lot of animes, like, they really want to do, like, the full two seasons. Just, like, they're forced to split because production issues. Like, not enough enough animators. So I think they really want to have the... if they could, they would have done the full twenty three episodes, but it's just the last one. It's like, yeah, we just left off at like the at the port, whatever. So kinda of felt a weird place to leave off. Yeah, but, just think of it as re zero, right? Reseal season two, basically. Just pretend like, it never but like, but like we knew that um that like it was gonna continue, so there's that. But yeah, I, right. I think we we'll be fine. Like I'm not I'm I'm not like disappointed of anything for how they set up the the, the pacing. So mm, same. I was gonna say like um, I'm surprised that we actually saw Roxy again because we saw her once early in the season. I didn't think that we'd see. I, th- I thought it'd be like like it'd just be just just to show her earlier, just to see like just to remind people like like we like you know she is doing her own thing. And then I thought we had to spend so much time on Rudy's stuff that like like we wouldn't have time for her. But I was I was surprised that we saw this. But I'm I'm glad this was here. Yeah, depending was, on how they play out the next it was, couple of seasons, it's either this is like a Roxy special where the devs are playing favorite to Roxy's character, or uh, they're going to do this to all the other side characters as well. So um, I'm, I'm loving the way they're doing it so far. For predictions, like we just have to go off what we said last time about how, because I, uh, for Rudy, it's just, you know, follow Rudy and, you know, dead end to like back to their hometown. We'll see what, what happens. Like we'll see, we'll see their reactions to like, how like how their hometown looks now we'll see them get caught up with like like the the political drama with like with you know finding out the grandpa died and like he was the scapegoat and then i assume i assume like maybe like uh they'll try to put some blame on Eris too but she's part of the family so they'll try to put some stuff on her and then we'll mm-hmm. maybe have to like, go into hiding or rudy had to protect her because there was like there was a guy who or yeah the one of the people who ordered the execution of the grandfather i don't know if he's got like a main villain you fight or if he's gonna be like someone who hires a mercenary group to like to take care of like rudy so, like, i can't t- i can't like gauge his power level if he's actually strong or not it doesn't seem like type like, type to be like strong but we'll see yeah just keep on keep on paying attention That's to just the my story I'm just, keep doing I'm your predictions just, i'm just like throwing we'll things out. out there just to see what happens <laughs> it was because it was it was interesting how wrong we were about about the the holy city that we thought it was how we thought it was gonna be like an evil cult in there somewhere but you guys are in for a treat though like if like i said if it ends the way i think it is you guys are in for a treat so uh here's to the next few episodes see how they stand out or see what they do well this that's it for this so shoko tensei again also always appreciate the comments shout out to stratton for replying to them yeah, yeah. Uh, join discord <laughs> Thanks, if you man. want to be part of the conversation when it drops or you want to talk about other animes airing this uh season so Look forward to uh, seeing your comments for our next episode. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.